Qu'ils soient chez eux dans leurs installations ou bien sur les terrains de concours, Poneas part à la rencontre des cavaliers 5 étoiles ayant fait leur gamme sur le circuit international Poney. Pour eux, c'est une formidable époque. Le déclic, sans doute, de leur passion pour la compétition de haut niveau. Aujourd'hui, Poneas a rendez-vous au CHI au Dex la Chapelle avec Bertram Allen, un des piliers de l'équipe d'Irlande de saut d'obstacle. En celle sur sa fantastique complice AKP la Z, Bertram Allen a été sacré champion d'Europe individuel en 2010 à Bishop Burton. Trois autres médailles européennes, d'argent cette fois-ci, sont venues s'ajouter au palmarès de la Belle. Par équipe en 2010 et en 2011, mais également en individuel en 2011, où le talentueux pilote irlandais n'est pas passé loin d'un doublé. Bertram a aussi fait ses gammes à poney avec une autre superbe petite jument, Cassandra Van Etroelhoff. C'est d'ailleurs avec elle que son frère Harry a été sacré champion d'Europe individuel en 2017. Les poneys et la famille Allen, c'est toute une histoire. Champion d'Europe par équipe à Göteborg, 7ème des Jeux équestres mondiaux de Caen, 3 de la finale Coupe du Monde de Las Vegas, aligné aux Jeux Olympiques de Tokyo, Bertram Allen est aujourd'hui l'un des meilleurs cavaliers du monde. Hi, Hi. Thanks a lot for your time. We know you have a very busy week here in Aachen. So tell me, you were born in an equestrian family. How and when did you start riding horses? Yeah, I started at a very young age. Um, yeah, we always had ponies around and I suppose then at eight or nine years old started riding a little bit more and then from then we started competitions and things. We found a cappella when I was maybe 12 or 13 in Scotland and uh, then we were lucky enough to be able to, to get her and uh, we had her from a, yeah, since I was young for a long time she was a special pony for us. I suppose she made it all um, much more serious uh, before her it was all just for fun and then with her and the European Championship everything got more serious um, and then after after her it was straight into horses and uh, she really started me. Yeah she was uh, very headstrong she had a, a strong character uh, very sweet um, you would know she was a mare um, but overall a very nice pony. In the arena she was very very careful uh, very very sensitive to everything and at the start it took me a while to get used to how sensitive she was and um, but then when I knew her and she knew me it was a very good match. Yeah I have a lot of very good memories with a cappella um, you know a lot of good days and I suppose also the Europeans that was the main highlight. Capella, she taught me a lot. Uh, you had to, to work every day with her. You couldn't make her do anything, so you had to be very sensitive and very uh, take a lot of time with her um, and think about what you were doing. So she taught me a lot on how to manage a horse or a pony, and um, she definitely yeah, got everything a lot more serious, like I said. I think she helped uh, me become a professional, but I was very lucky. I'd, uh, I had some also some other very good ponies and one or two horses early, they all made it go that way. Yeah, she was fantastic for all of us. It was not just me that rode her, also some of my sisters and brothers uh, rode her as well and uh, she was a real family pony. Yeah, I think she was a horse, she'd be a, yeah, an unbelievable horse, a real Grand Prix horse. Um, yeah, and she, she should have been a horse. Her breeding was uh, to be a horse, but she was a twin. So she never grew, um, so she really had the mannerisms of a horse, she was not a typical pony. Cassandra, Harry rode her, he was European champion on her, um, and she's, we still have her at home and uh, she has some foals now, maybe three foals, so it's nice to, nice to have that. It was super to do the ponies, you know, uh, the Grand Prix, the Nations Cup, the Europeans, it was a really good experience and then That's maybe why I could have achieved so much so young on horses because I had so much experience with the ponies. Yeah, the Irish team always had a good pony team, so to be on the to be on the team was always a, a great achievement. And when you were on the team, you always had a good chance to win. So it was uh, no, it was great to be on the team, and we had some good days on the Irish team. No, it was uh, obviously important and uh, big classes, but it was great fun and. Uh, We had some 
nice ponies and good friends at these times. So it was, you know, very nice to do as a as a child. My advice for, for a young rider would be to enjoy it, to work hard, and to learn from the best. You know, even if you're at a show and there's some good riders there, watch watch them every day. Watch them what they're doing, what they're, what they're doing in the warm up, and uh, maybe if you know them, don't be afraid to ask questions. Once again, thank you very much for your time. It's already the end of the video. Uh, we hope you liked it. See you soon, Antonias. Bye. Bye.